In the age of stay-at-home orders, some Harvard Westlake student artists have continued to create and hone their craft from home. Kyle Reams has the story. As the coronavirus pandemic has forced everyone to stay in their homes, I spoke with three Harvard Westlake artists, each specializing in a different type of art, to see how the lockdowns were affecting their creative output. Junior painter Helena Stoic says working from home, without the guidelines or time constraints of a class, has allowed her to try new things with regards to her painting. I've actually had a lot, well, obviously had a lot more time um, in my hands to uh, start painting at home again. Usually it was, normally it was just in class with all my teachers with their prompts, but now I'm painting off of what I want to. And you know, junior year was pretty stressful. There was too much work to feel not guilty painting in my free time. So quarantine has got like granted me a lot of time um, to do that. No pressure. Senior Annabelle Zimmer, whose art is mainly photo and video based, says a surplus of time can lead to a lack of motivation. When you have like so much time, it's so hard to like actually force yours, not force, but like actually be motivated to do anything and without any kind of like pressure to make anything I almost feel like why am I not just laying in bed watching Real Housewives all day that's pretty fulfilling to an extent. (laughs) Stoic says that she too finds it hard to push herself to start but also feels that creating art is a needed reprieve from a chaotic world. It has been a bit hard to inspire myself to kind of pick up the paintbrushes and like lay out my canvas and put everything together. But there are some points that I reach um, like during the week where I just can't stand staring at a screen anymore. You know, getting sick of the screen is what really pushes me to paint. I think it's soothing because there's not as much going in my head. Like there's too much stimulation from all the screens around me. So painting is a really good break and it's good for my mental health. Senior Graham Burgersax, who performs music under the name Graham Riley, says making music has always been therapeutic for him, and now, specifically, it helps him feel like he is getting something done. It always has, even in regular times, but especially now, um, even just as something to make myself feel like I'm I'm being productive in a more practical, pragmatic way than, you know, a therapeutic way. Um, It just is a nice thing that I can do. And, and, you know, I know this is kind of corny and everyone says this, but when you're really focused on creating music or whatever it is, you can really block out everything else in the world. Zimmer says art acts as a safe space for her. And the pride that comes with creating is incredibly helpful. So I kind of find like art is a nice place it feels like safe. I think that, you know, especially these days when I like am definitely more prone to like being depressed or like, you know, feeling just really horrible about myself or whatever, having something to like hold on to and like be proud of is, oh, such a gift. With the world on lockdown, interpersonal interactions have become less and less common. For artists that base their work on these interactions, they must adapt to the new normal. Zimmer says, although she has lost some of her inspiration, another facet of it shines through even stronger than before. You know, when we're not in quarantine, most of my work does kind of focus on like things that are happening to me or um, like my relationships with different people. Um, but it's always kind of had an element of like escapism, but I've definitely felt that during quarantine, I really like, um, double down on like this escapist concept just because I kind of feel like I don't want to deal with what's happening outside and it feels better to create these false realities. Burger Zach says he knows he must accept this new time and has found that now both his process and product have completely changed. The source of inspiration is definitely different, but I've found that, you know, life goes on. It's, it's a different kind of life. So you have to pull from different, um, sources than, than usual than you usually would. I didn't always write only love songs in the past, but it was a lot, a lot more, but now it's, the songs are a lot more, um, I guess, introspective and philosophical and more just singular and having to do with myself and my relationship with myself rather than my relationship with others because you're not around other people, right? 
As the lockdowns go on, these artists are sure to continue to do what they love. For more information on all of them, check out their Instagrams, shown here. For Campus News, I'm Kyle Reams.